What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Gotham City, motherfucking imposters. That's right. I was bored the other day, and I went and played a game. This was my first and only game back, and I did pretty good. And I was like, you know what? This would be a nice little throwback to another series that I was going to continue called So You Want to Be a YouTuber. So this is episode four of So You Want to Be a YouTuber series, where I help you guys out and give you tips that I've learned along the way of doing YouTube. The first episode we did was What's the Name? Then we did talking about your content and how you don't want to limit yourself to just one game, and also talking about capture cards and mics. So this episode, I want to talk about physically growing a small channel from zero, from nothing, from 20 subscribers to 50, then to 100, then to 200, to 500, and 1,000, then to 2,000, then to 5,000, 10,000. This is what you want to do. You want to snowball your uh, subscribers. So how do you do that? How do you get somebody to watch your motherfucking video? You want to know the easiest way? And I know this sounds so fucking, like, simple is forums. You find a game that you want to play, and you play it, you make videos of it, and you go on a forum. Now I know a lot of people are going to be like, well I've gotten banned on forums for posting links. That's because you're going about it the wrong way. What you need to do is sign up to a forum. Check around, read some posts, make some friends, you know, help some people out, give some tips. If you see somebody that needs a tip, you be like, look, hey, I made a video on this, or if you don't have a video on it, make a video on it. And then link that dude to your video. Be like, hey, this is something that I knew how to explain to you, but it's better if I make it into a video so I can show you instead of actually just making a fucking wall of text that nobody's gonna read on the forums. And then this guy's gonna be like, you know what? He helped me. And then his buddy that finds out, like the little tip that you gave him, he's like, where'd you learn that? He's like, I learned it from this dude. You see what happened? You signed up for a forum, you didn't spam anybody, you got a video idea, and now you also got two new subscribers from one video just for signing up on a forum and talking to people. And it's that easy. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, uh, I mean, I see you on forums morning and you link videos. Yeah, I link videos. But I never, never link a video on a forum until I have about 20 to 30 posts. Why? Because I don't want the community to hate me. I don't want people to be like, this guy's just here for views. No, I'm here to be part of the community. I make videos on this game. But I'm not going to spam my videos until I feel comfortable that, you know, there's some people in the community that respect what I say, that want to hear what I have to say, because there's nothing worse than preaching to people about some type of video game tips or news or something, and they don't respect what you're saying because they're just going to blow you off as just another asshole that they don't even want to fucking listen to, and they're going to click the ignore button, or they're going to report you to a moderator, and you might get banned for spamming. Now here's the beauty part about being on a forum. Guess what? Signatures. That's right. Put your link in a signature. If you go on any forum that I've ever been on, I always have my channel name. And it, whatever it is, like if it's Borderlands 2, I put it in my channel link and I say, you know, I make Borderlands 2 videos. That's all I put. I don't say, hey, come check me out, shit like that. No, I just put it in my signature, you know, youtube.com slash more than after kill. I make Borderlands 2 videos. I've done it on GCI. I make GCI videos. I'm making a GCI video right now. <laughs> but no, like I said, forums are probably the greatest way for a small YouTuber to get any type of following and to get people that are in the same community with like-minded interests and wants to actually want to see what this guy has and what kind of videos you're making. Because if you're making sense in your posts and you post a video, somebody's going to be like, you know what? This guy made some sense like a day or two ago. Let's see what the fuck this video has. And they watch it and they're like, you know what? This isn't half bad. And there's also other like forums out there that are just like generic YouTube style forums like Yaush. Uh, I know um, Yaush is a great forum. I go to the Yaush forum. I'm a machine partner. I go on Yaush forums. You know why? Because there's a lot of really cool people on those forums. And you just really need to get your name out there and talk to people. Because if you're making videos and you're not trying to talk to people, a lot of people are not going to take you seriously because they're just going to look at your videos and be like, I don't understand what this guy's going on about because they have no prior contact with you to know exactly what you're talking about like I said if you're on a forum and you're talking about people and you're talking to people and you're making a lot of sense in your writing 
then you're going to make a lot of sense in your videos and they're going to want to translate that over to watching your shit. Another really good way to get other people to see your videos is to network with other YouTubers the same size as your channel. Now, I know why a lot of people say like, well, bigger YouTubers don't want to help me and shit like that. That's true. They don't want to help you. They really don't because you're trying to take views from them. And, uh, you know, it, it's sad that a lot of people think like that or they put that type of mentality onto YouTube with the whole YouTube food chain. And I'm going to make a video on that separately, uh, probably the next video I make actually talking about that whole business. But the reason why it's important for a small YouTuber to interact with other small YouTubers of the same size is because on YouTube, the more subscribers you have, the more people take you seriously. So if you have 200 subscribers and you're trying to network out with a guy that has 5,000 subscribers, people aren't going to take you as seriously as they take the guy with 5,000 subs. And it fucking sucks. It really does. And it puts a knife in your fucking heart. And you're like, take me seriously. I'm just like this guy, you know? And you might be best friends with the guy that has 5,000 subs. But the reality of it is, is that if you interact with another channel the same size as yours, is smaller channels have people that are more willing to subscribe to a smaller channel. And like I said, if you have 200 subs and you're networking with another guy that has 200 subs, between you guys, you have 400 subs. Even if a quarter of his subs come to your channel from networking out and making videos with him, that's still 50 subscribers that's coming to your channel just from making a video with another guy that's the same size as you. And when it comes to dual cons, you can't just do a dual con with anybody. You have to make sure that the people you are networking with are people that you have chemistry with, people that you can have a conversation with, and it sounds really natural, real laid back, and it's not real stiff, nobody's talking over top of each other, because that is what makes a good dual commentary, is when you're doing it with somebody that you actually have chemistry with, that you have a rapport with, you know their speech styles, you know what they're going to say, you know when they're done talking. Talking, and you know when they're about to talk so you can shut the fuck up and let them talk <laughs> and last but not least is the most simplest way to get your YouTube channel out to somebody is simply by not being a dick when you're playing online and we're gonna be like what the fuck are you talking about well do you know how many subscribers I got from going into people's worlds when I was playing Fortress Craft when I was playing Minecraft when I was playing Gotham City Imposters and just talking to people, being a real cool guy, you know, you see something like, oh shit, nice shot, you know, you fucking ripped me up right there, you know, just give them the type of respect that you would like back and they'll probably check out your profile, see what you're about and they'll see that you have a YouTube channel, I'm like, oh, you got a YouTube channel, I'm like, yeah, and you know what they're gonna do? While they're sitting there playing in between matches, they're gonna check your YouTube channel out and they're like, oh shit, you know, this guy was pretty cool, I'm gonna check his YouTube channel out, I'm gonna subscribe and check that out. I'm going to subscribe and see what this guy's about because he was really cool to me in game. And I've probably picked up 500 to 1,000 subscribers really early in my YouTube life because I was just pretty cool to people online and I wasn't a dick. I was just me, just being me. And that's the easiest way to grow on YouTube is to just be yourself and don't be afraid to communicate with other people. So my name's Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys later. Hey, morning after kill. I just watched your YouTube video.